Hey everyone, Dan here again uh, with today's Ask Me Anything. This time it comes from at GravX Reviews. That's G-R-A-V-X-R-E-V-I-E-W-S. GravX Reviews from Twitter. Uh, and he writes in and says, USB-C versus 3.5, superior or inferior audio quality wise. Now, I'm assuming there's uh, people understand there's two types of USB-C connectors, uh, uh, adapters. A lot of phones actually break out the analog signals. You remember you had the old 3.5 millimeter jack and that was all analog? Some phones actually will take those analog signals internally and just route them to pins in the USB-C connector. So your USB-C adapter, especially the ones you buy for like a buck or two, all that is is basically taking those wires and putting them onto a 3.5 millimeter jack. Is that worse? Typically, yes, because you're dealing with much smaller wires, you're dealing with tiny connections, you're dealing with extra losses, things like that. It's not really a gain. Dirt cheap way though, and it's a way that you can make the USB-C basically run analog signals. However, that's really not what's supposed to happen with USB-C. Usually you're gonna use something um, like this little guy. It's, it's a little type C um, adapter. So you plug it in, it's got a little D to A converter inside of it and stuff like that. This is like the, the, the Apple equivalent it uses lightning, you got a little D to A converter and a little MFI chip. So uh, a lot of people will look at it and go, okay, well, that's actually an out outboard DAC. Is that better than the old 3.5? Yes and no. It depends upon the quality of the DAC inside the device. In other words, is this a high quality unit or not? A lot of times they are. A lot of times they're just a cheap bottom end and they're no better than what you'd normally get in a phone. Um, and then some phones such as the LG V series, uh, they run, you know, ESS quad saber DACs and things like that. Phenomenal performers from an audio standpoint. So which is better? It totally depends. If you're looking at that as your deciding factor, I would say, you know, if you're really serious about audio, just plan on getting an outboard DAC, something that's really good to start with, and don't try to worry about you know whose little adapter comes with what and things like that. Uh, if you just don't care at all, and a phone to you is really not an audio platform at all, and it's just something to have when you're going around, you're probably looking at Bluetooth, or if you need to be wired, just the stock little dongle that came with you, three out of four times that dongle is just gonna be a passive analog through. In other words, those, like I said earlier, the audio signals from the internal DAC just go to pins on the on the USB-C connector, and then those are just wired out to a, to a 3.5 millimeter plug so you can just plug your, your headphone in. That's kind of a lot of very standard way. Me personally, I'm not buying a phone without a 3.5 millimeter because I hate having little dongles off the end of things. But if I do, then I'm gonna, I actually have, uh, get really good DACs and play with that. That's what I would want uh, when I'm serious about audio. Otherwise, I just want something that's gonna sound really good in the first place. Uh, in, in my measurements, my experience, it's been a lot of the Samsung phones, the earlier ones that actually had uh, 3.5 millimeter jacks. And of course, the LGs are phenomenal. Uh, it performs well for 3.5 millimeter. Otherwise, it's totally up to you. You can buy a, um, a, a dongle, an adapter. If your dongle is cheaper than four or five bucks, I guarantee you it does not have its own separate DAC in there. Nobody can build those. I mean, the DAC chips alone are a buck, buck fifty. You include all the caps, you include the molding, everything like that. Your bill of materials, even a million parts, is going to cost you about three bucks. You can't sell it for less than five and make any profit. So usually when you're looking at those adapters, wow, this adapter is only a dollar fifty. Yeah, it's just the analog output. It's just, just the analog output. Or they're using a six-year-old or eight-year-old DAC chip on it, which is going to be noisy and terrible and measure like crap and have terrible distortion. So just don't go there. If you're going to actually worry about a DAC, plan on spending 50, 60 bucks or more and get some decent. So anyway, there's your answer, GravX Reviews. I hope that takes care of you. And as always, if anybody else has a question, feel free to ping us on Twitter at Periodic Audio uh, or shoot us an email at info at periodicaudio.com. Until next time, take care all. See ya.